losing oneself's in their memory. Ooh, yeah, we were. Hi, everybody, it's Corbin, and today we are going to delve into volume 10 of Devil and the Realist by Yutoko Yakahiro and Madoko Takadono. We shall read the back, delve into it, and get into the nitty gritty. Baphomet has been Italian's most trusted retainer for hundreds of years. In fact, he's been the Nefamil's candidate's only retainer. But after nearly half a millennia of tireless service devoid of demonic slumber, Baphomet must finally rest. With his goat-headed servant nearing the end of his life, will the Italian have any choice but to separate from him forever? He's one of God's precious pieces. This is rated teen. It's Seven C's Entertainment LLC. And let's talk about it. Right off the bat, it opens with a little side comic explaining a new character that's just randomly going to appear that we need to kind of have some history about and a beautiful full page cover art. And again, well, a full page of art. This is actually a very cute little hallway classroom kind of scene with all the de demons in it. And then a full page of the cover art right here. Now, the story picks up kind of where we left off with a sort of flashback explaining the history of how Italian and his demon became companions together. It It's a bittersweet story explaining how reckless Italian really is and how hopeless he is at defending himself. Um, the art style during this portion is very whimsical and very pretty, and we see it as kind of a a burlesque kind of show, kind of puppet show, like background silhouette kind of drawing style. So it's not the normal style that's throughout the entire manga. And this one right here is more of the traditional normal style, which is just very pretty. It's very refined. It's very traditional. It's very now's sort of manga anime style. Just very nice. Now, we do start really getting more hints of back towards the Yaoi subtext of Natalian and Solomon, where Natalian, well, plotline-wise, I'm going to plot if you didn't notice, where we start to see, again, that relationship blossoming and the explanation towards why, well, Natalian really loves Solomon and why um, Baham Baphomet really loves Italian and why that all works out and how he sees him more like a child who needs to be nurtured and loved. Um, plotline wise, it drags on a little bit. It gives you a lot of back and forth between memory sequences, present day, um, bouncing between characters in present time, and then bouncing back to memories, and then having a broken storyline with drama and intrigue and interest. So this was actually a really good volume. Um, it took me less than 30 minutes to read. Not a problem in that regard. It wasn't word heavy. There was a lot of empty space actually. Like for example here there's maybe four like word bubbles or plot line bubbles in general and the rest of it's kind of just art which I like. Her art style is very beautiful so I do not mind staring at it whatsoever. So that helps. I did enjoy this volume. It does feel like it is another kind of just background exposition kind of plot line volume. So it's a kind of a filler, kind of not, because you need it to understand what's going on. Um, we do finally get a full-fledged Solomon moment where he completely takes over poor young William Twinney, and we may have lost William forever is how this one kind of ends. So we will see in the next volume, which I'm very excited to get to. And yeah, if you guys have questions or comments, shoot them down below. Give me a thumbs up and share this with a friend who likes yaoi slash shonen eye slash just kind of cool yaois. And I will talk to you guys later. If you like what you see, hmm, then subscribe!